Alright, so I got uh, my 3D printer, and right now I'm having an issue with uh, my power button being missing on my tower, so I need to uh, get a new button so I don't have to shove my pinky in there. And So, I'm going to model something up real quick. Um, file new, part, all my windows are going to be in the wrong spot because I'm downsized for doing a tutorial. So this is partially uh, using Katia, partially, I don't know, using your 3D printer for your stuff around the house. So, I haven't taken any measurements, I'm just going to kind of rough guess it, and uh, we'll see how Katia does with um, screen capture going, and we'll see if uh, just the general outline of the shape. Alright, so I want to stick out, I don't know, I'll say three inches just to be safe. Okay, so that means that this is way too big. It's maybe a half inch. And then uh, I'm just going to put some paddle on the other side. Sketch onto the XY plane. Make it coincident to the origin. And I'll make that diameter. Um, looks like it's maybe a half inch over, so. I don't know. And we'll pad that to be eight eighth of an inch thick. just to make it a little bit better looking, put a radius on it, um, yeah, sure, and put a radius on this end too. Alright, now I'm going to save that as an STL. Um. Oh shit, I just saved as a cat part. STL, save, close Katia, open up, Repeteer host, however you pronounce that. How do you pronounce that? Repeater? Repeater. You're asking me, Repeater? Yeah, Repeater. Okay, well it wasn't Repeteer. <laughs> um, okay, this is missing some windows. Oh, there we go. Trying to add an object. Now that is retardedly small. Um, unfortunately, I have to have my computer in uh, inches because the the work I do in America is all in inches. So when I model stuff for my 3D printer, usually I I'll try and model it in millimeters or you know download it from Thingiverse and I inload or import it as millimeters but since I designed it myself I'm gonna have to import it as inches so inches trash my button uh, bring in a new one alright there we go uh, yeah so you know 
dildos. That's what uh, 3D printers are good for printing. <laughs> um, so yeah, if I uh, were to want to print this, I would uh, plug myself in, connect, start heating up my bed and extruder, and uh, yeah, start start printing it. Um, if you've never seen this before, we have our object in. Um, if we wanted to, we can move it around, stretch it, chop it in Z. If you want to do, I don't know, different colors or something, you could chop it up into Z levels. Uh, you can multiply, you know, have a whole array of them. And then you go to your slicer. Once you got it all set up, you hit slice, and it's chopping them all up into Z levels, going all the way up this, um, telling itself how to print out the plastic as it goes around. I'm using ABS, but I'm looking forward to get some PLA or some better uh, materials here before too long. But I'll just show you what the uh, preview looks like before I stop this. Or maybe it's under manual control. No? No? Well, maybe it's just when you're printing. Uh, it'll show a replay of it going around. Maybe I can just do a dry fire. No, nope, won't let me. Well, yeah, okay, that's a screencast, and yeah, you can actually use 3D printers for all kinds of shit around the house.